Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be seeing Notts County take on Port Vale in League 2. Now Port Vale are only three points behind Notts in the league table so it's clearly going to be a tough match today. Notts also unfortunately have picked up a few injuries, one of them being Jody Jones who will be out for at least three months I suspect. But with our new signings I do think we have quite a lot of squad depth which is really good. But on the flip side of that we do have Yatta back which is really good, he scored in the game against Carlisle and today I'm predicting that Notts are going to win 2-1 and I think that he'll actually score as well. It's wonderful to see that Notts have had a great start to the season and although they did have a good start last season there's definitely a clear change between the tactics of the team and the squad depth as well with the new signings we got over the summer. So I'm really hoping that they can carry on this good run of form and get a win today. So let's get to the stadium. Altogether, there were around 11,000 fans in the stadium, including 2,000 fans from Port Vale. And so then it was time to kick off the game. Knotts kept possession at the start of the half and used Dan Crowley and Kellen Gordon on the right to try and whip a ball into Jatta in the middle. And early on Crowley had a chance but he volleyed it just over the crossbar from close range. Jatta also had a heading chance but again it went over the crossbar. And halfway through the first 45 minutes, a cross cut through the Knotts defence and the Port Vale attacker tapped it past Alex Bass in goal. This was one of the only real chances for Port Vale during the half. Knotts began to slow down after this but still kept the majority of possession. It was beginning to look similar to the game against Gillingham just the other week. Port Vale's number 11 nearly dribbled round Bass after he was slipped through on goal, but his touch was too heavy. And so the first half ended 1-0 to Port Vale. However, going into the second half, not started a bit quicker with Abbott coming on. And Yatta had another heading chance, which was very close to going in. The rest of the half was a lot slower and Port Vale tried to waste the time in order to keep that 1-0 lead. Knotts just couldn't seem to find a way to cut through their defence. The Magpies put in so many crosses, however, none really challenged the defence of Port Vale. However, it became a lot more open towards the end of the game with a few chances for both Port Vale and County, but ultimately the match ended 1-0 to the away side. One positive to look at for Knotts is that I thought the centre-backs were good throughout the game. However, going forwards we definitely missed Edwards and Jones. The passing and movement were too slow and crosses were just not accurate enough. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.